Hey guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with another Sew With Me for Farm Girl Vintage 2. We're sewing these block by block. Today we're going to be sewing Grandpa's truck. Now you can do these in 6 inch or 6.5 inch or 12.5 inch blocks. I'm going by what she did on the front. And she did a 12 inch Grandpa's block. This block, as well as all the others, and most of the quilts I do, have a lot of scrappy pieces in them. And Missouri Star Quilt Company is celebrating Earth Day by offering 15% off your total purchase. The link to do that is my link down below. I'll put it in the description box. It's good for this month only. Be sure and take advantage. So yeah, we're talking about how to use your scraps how do you store your scraps? How do you cut your scraps, etc.? For this, these pieces right here, I used a lot from my scrap. I pulled from my scrap pile. Like a lot of times, she has like picks twelve different oranges, stuff like that. So I'll go to my scrap boxes and and pull out. Most of the fabric I'm using is the Lori Holt um, vintage, but like I said, I pulled things from my scraps too, so there might be some others in there as well. Also, how I use my scraps is by my leaders and enders. I'm always making a scrappy quilt on the side. Great way to use up your scraps and not waste thread on beginners and enders when you could actually be using it to make a quilt. Let's get started. This one had a lot of cutting. All the alphabeties A through Z were used, and the alphabeties double A through double E were used. Okay, first up, let's take our U block, which is the truck window. I changed up the fabric selection in this one because I didn't care for the other one. That's my choice. <laughs> P. We're going to snowball a P on it. What is P? What is P? Um, oh, here it is. It's the truck color. Okay, snowball a P in the corner. I cannot believe my lazy butt didn't get to the um, nail salon today. What, seriously walking around like that. gonna do it. I didn't want to do it. Okay, next is M. Oh. Shoot. Oh, okay, I guess I'll just leave that out because we do need the other one in a second. Um, one of these elms were snowballing. Gosh, this is so little. Of course, I just always just look at the pictures instead of reading. It's in the I. Or is it an L? I can't. It's just a stick letter. I don't know if that's an I or an L, but let's find out. It's an I. Okay. Remember, this is the 12-inch block, and look how little these pieces are. Lord of mercy. Yeah, this had a lot, of, this has a lot of pieces to it. Okay. Iron this. We're gonna add in to the top of this. And in is another car color. Do, 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 
the Sleepy Lagoon song. Alright, I gotta move on to the next because it's still under the needle. So let's go on to this, the truck. We're gonna start making the part where the hay is. The little wooden slats and the hay poking through. So we're gonna need this Z blocks. The first section though is A, A, and D, D. There's D, D. There's A, A. So we have a wooden slat and a wooden slat. And we have two different yellows here for the, the D fabric or the DD fabric. Like that. So I'm gonna do these first, the first section. Also going to go ahead and make the next section, which is going to be wooden slat, wooden slat with um, CC. Is another yellow. This is how I pulled out. This is why I started pulling out for my stash because I needed so many different yellows for this section. And um, instead of cutting into a big fat quarter for like a one and a half inch block, you know, uh, I went and got my stash and pulled out some two and a half inch blocks and cut from those. section is the smaller AA. Oops, I'm mixing up my double letters with my solid letters. Can't be doing that. Can't mix up my alphabeties. Okay. And then this, we have six different yellows in this truck. And the hay that Grandpa's truck's holding. So you're seeing the three of the color, three of the six, I think. work on our window unit again. Oh gosh, I do not want to get all these mixed up. I think I need to sort them first. I don't need to get confused on that. So, let me iron all these. There's the one section. Here's the middle section, which is longer. And one of the shorties. Okay, there's my window. To the window! To the walls! 
I'll just stop that song right there. <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay. Oh Lord, she's he's short. Why is he so short though? I guess he's just a little long. A little long in the tooth. Where should I go from? I think I'm going to go from the top and trim the bottom. I think that's a smarter move. Let me double check my measurement on this. Okay, this is right on, so yeah, I made that one a little too long. Now I can start putting together my slats. Poo-poo scared me. People are sneaking up on me. Okay. Put the other half of my window unit together. I must have cut this when this U a little long. Because it's about an eighth of an inch over which is fun it's fun it's fun first part. Now we can do the end part. Parker. What he's up to over there. Sounds like no good though. What are you doing, pee poo? You up to no good? Make sure you do every other. I think he was looking for that crinkle ball he had earlier. He's crawling under all the pieces of furniture in the room. I guess he forgot where it is. Forgot where he stashed it. Now on this window unit, snowball F right here. Just one. Don't you take me to wonky town. My blocks are always so wonky. Won't you take me to wonky town. Okay, now we're going to put this on. Oh my. Do I, did I cut that like way too short? Uh, looks like I obviously did. Let me check my measurements. <laughs> One by two and a half. Well, that is one by two and a half. What the heck size is this one? They're the same. That's too long. Track row unit should measure. Um, what the heck? Why 
did these end up so much longer than my slats? I mean, that's a lot longer. What the heck? Maybe this guy was... I do not understand what I have done here. I really don't understand what I've done there. Look at that. But this one is pretty close. And that one's pretty close. And that one's pretty close. That one's way off. I really don't understand what I've done. And yet, I'm proceeding like everything's okay. It's not happening! It's, it's not happening. Whatever I've done, it's not happening. I'm ignoring it. I think the only explanation is Grandpa's truck is a hoopty. And it's just weird. I don't know how I don't know what in the world I did. Okay, there's a window unit. I'm gonna set that to the side. I am distressed about this. Can you do? I'm just gonna trim it, I guess, and it's gonna be wonky. I don't want to. I don't even want to look at you. Let's go to the haystacks on top and see how these fare. These are three different yellows as well. So we're just sewing these together. to have cut one of those strips too fat is all I can think. You'll see when I measure it because it does it doesn't have the measurements listed for these. It only has the whole thing completed listed. So we'll measure it. Let's see if I can be a detective about what the heck happened. He poo found his crinkle ball. He was searching for it. He's got it again. You got your ball? You having fun? This is working out. So this is six and a six and a half. That's how much the block is supposed to measure. So I'm very anxious to three and a half by 
like two and a half by six and a half. So let's find out. Okay, it's definitely measuring over, so I get to cut it down. So, rail truck unit should measure two and a half by six and a half. So, it's definitely measuring over. That's good news. In the world, I'm not thinking. Okay. Yeah, it measured. I guess I just, yeah, it was just a little oversized, so it turned out all right. See, sometimes you just need to trust the process and carry on. And sometimes you don't. It's a gamble. <laughs> okay, I'll wait for that piece to come off because we're, we're going to attach those two, obviously. Back to the window unit. I'm going to put B up top. measure these after I put them together just to keep my ducks in a row. Hey, Pooh. All right. Let me test this piece. This is supposed to be five and a half by six and a half. Okay, we're at the six and a half mark. Um, pretty close. Close enough. Okay, next, take our Y. What? That's a V. There he is. Oh my gosh. Snowball crazy. Okay. X. Okay. 
this these two squares are going to have a snowball in every corner <sighs> these are the um like the hubcaps right or are they just the straight up yeah the hubcaps I'm using a different fabric than she used for the gray. It's gonna take me. It's gonna take me a hot minute to get all these finished, y'all. So just bear with me. I don't have to cut an iron between them though, I don't think, because they're not overlapping. I'm gonna go ahead and iron these. I miss my nail. are done. Let's go back to the window. We're going to attach it to the hay. Um, and of course it doesn't line up perfectly, which is the story of my life. We'll measure it. Just 
bear with me while I'm ironing these. Oh. Trying to get these wonky things. Crooked wheels. Okay. W W. Top and bottom for both of them. So our units would look like that. Okay, I need to measure this and see how she's shaping up. Okay, she measured up really nice. She just kind of goes a little like that, but I, I'll straighten that up when I sew sew it together. You know what I mean? I'll just do a little do a little push up like Victoria's Secret. Nobody will be none the wiser. say okay a lot, don't I? guess it's better than saying uh every two seconds. <laughs> I'm like fighting my urges to say, okay, like now since I pointed it out to myself, oh, I'm dying to say okay again. Okay. Uh, let's put the V's on each side. See there, I switched it up to an all right. Since this is shorter than my unit I'm sewing it to, I'm sewing it towards the middle. So then when I go to square it up, since there's that hubcap in the middle, I don't want to make one end longer than the other. And I'm pretty confident it'll measure up. Because all the other pieces have been, so. I don't jinx myself here. I'm sure we're building the wheels now around the hip cap. So we're probably fixing to start doing some snowballing again, if I had to guess. Make the wheels look round. Check my measurements on this when I'm done. Okay. Oh, 
Let's hit it again. Let me get my three and a half inch square up roller. Let's do this right, shall we? this one off so I'm square it up too. I love these square up rulers. Love them, love them, love them. This one was much closer to correct. That's a little drawer if you're wondering. I got it in one of my Timu hauls. Okay. Oh, God. We are snowballing. Two S's up here, which is our wheel whale. So at the top of each tire, we're going to snowball these S pieces. late tonight with y'all. My bedtime alarm went off about 15 minutes ago. And we're just getting started on this guy. I want to finish him. Finish him. balls are going to be F blocks, which I think is our background color. Let me see, what did I say? F? Yeah. I think it's going to take all of those. I need to hook up electrodes that shock me every time I say the okay word. 
luck bill murray and ghostbusters i always think that scene is so funny at the very beginning when he's given those psychic tests to the pretty girl and the boy and he keeps acting like the pretty girl's right. I mean, shocking the boy. But the funniest and most realistic part of that to me is when that boy's chewing gum and Bill Murray shocks him. He's like, ah! and, the, and the gum falls out of his mouth. <laughs> it tickles me so much every time. And I've seen that movie a bunch of times. Stella used to be obsessed with Ghostbusters with Bill Murray particularly, um, she said she wanted to marry Bill Murray. Let me see how old was she look? This was like when she was in kindergarten. She was obsessed. She loved, She dressed up as a Ghostbuster for Halloween. Bill Murray, to be exact, Peter Vickman's character. And she wanted me to cut her hair like Bill Murray's, which is a balding man. Of course, I did not do that. <laughs> I let her dress up like Bill Murray, but I drew the line at making her a balding man. Yeah, she... Long time she was uh, pretty obsessed with that movie. In the car line for kindergarten, she would have me play the Ghostbusters theme song every day. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! That Halloween costume was the cutest thing. Man, I'm gonna have to try to remember to search through my Facebook pictures and find a picture of her in that Ghostbusters costume and put it at the end of this video. I hope I can remember to do that. She had the ectoplasm pack and everything. I mean, she was full nine yards dressed up besides the haircut. Strange. Isn't that a strange obsession for a five-year-old girl to have? Okay. Oh. Pee-poo, get down. Get down. I'm going to get the water bottle. Where is it? Usually, oh, there he goes. Usually all I have to do is uh, reach for, <laughs> I haven't had to squirt him in at least a year, if not two. We just touch the water bottle and that's enough. Okay, now we're going to attach T and H. Making two of these, one for each one. T and H. She still loves Bill Murray. Which, who, who doesn't love Bill Murray? Right, but she's past her Ghostbusters obsession at this point. She never liked uh, Stella. She never liked dolls. She never liked babies, baby dolls, Barbies, princess stuff. No way, Jose. Never would she be caught dead with something princess on it. <laughs> I loved Barbies. I never liked baby dolls growing up, but I loved Barbie. Barbie was my jam. But no, she's never wanted Barbies either. To my great chagrin, E. Okay, 
Okay, the other side of the tires are these units that I'm sewing together now. The wheel well. Sam was a very typical boy either. He did like balls. He liked to play with balls as a toddler. But as far as sports and cars and fighting and stuff like that, no. He's always been very gentle, artsy, you know, quiet, calm. Neat. I always took really good care of all his toys. Never cut his own hair. Never colored on walls. You know, all the typical kid kind of stuff. He never did any of that. Now, Stella, she was a Tasmanian devil. She did all the above and more. She's drew all over my walls. Flushed things down the toilet. Cut her own hair. Cut other people's hair in her class. Cut her clothes. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're total opposites. He never ripped up his books or wrote in his books, you know. None of that stuff. Clean. You know. Okay. Oh my gosh, I said it again. We're doing both of the wheels the same. I was just making sure I wasn't supposed to put a thicker piece on a different part. Definitely got to square these up. go. Well, let's see what this is supposed to measure. It's exactly the right length. Oh, I got a little short there. It's actually right. That's that's my bad right there. It dips, it dips in a little bit there. Again, that's something I can just be conscious of when I'm sewing the next part on to catch that. Because, boy, that's going to be close to that fourth of an inch. Moving on. Q. We're making two of these. And we're just going to put these on both corners, sew them corner to corner, like little half square triangle units, kind of. Ooh. 
Ooh, this one's real off. That one's really off. I'm not gonna be able to make that work. Let's see what I can do here. What is this supposed to be again? Three and a half. Ooh. Why did I get that so short there? Yeah, it's the same spot too. It's the same spot dipped in. Oops. I don't know how I managed that. Those freaking snowballs. They're killing me, Smalls. There's a little bit over there. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna have to work some quilty magic on those. Some real trickeries afoot when I try to sew those on. Watch the master work. <laughs> Probably should just put this on pause and go ahead and go on to bed before I get really carried away with myself. I finished so many blocks this weekend though. So far, it's just Saturday. This week, a bunch, a bunch. To turn the first page, or not the first page, just the on page three. Now, oh, we're on the last page. Wheels. Okay, these are gonna go on. Okay, here's where I gotta work my magic, y'all. Here's where I gotta fake it till you make it, y'all. I'm gonna turn, I would normally sew on this side so as not to run into a bunch of seams, but I'm gonna flip it and go the other side because I need to know where I've got to make it work. Right there is where I gotta make it work. Wish me luck. Go a little slow through here. It's just barely going to catch it. It's barely catching it, but it caught it. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. All right, this one's not as bad as that one, so it should be easily fixed. Oh, it's a pretty big dip, too. It's a pretty tall order. Yes. Yes, queen. Did it. See, it's just barely caught there. <laughs> make another few units for this for these tires we have got Jay doing 
on C. This is what's going in between the two tires. The fabric is so soft. Just love the feel of it. And also we need a unit for the end and it's O and G. The OG. Oh god, this truck is such a pretty blue. I dig it. Alright, now we can put our wheels together. But yeah, with Barbies, I, pl I, I play with Barbies like no other. And I didn't have a Barbie house. I didn't want a Barbie house because I liked to make my Barbie stuff. I didn't want some prefabricated plastic thing. I wanted, to, I made their own beds, like with stuff around the house. To, I'd make their cars. Like I would get one of those Velveeta boxes and the plastic things from the push-ups, and that would be my Barbie car. I would make it. I would sew their clothes. I'd make pillows. All over my floor, I would just come home from school and sit in the middle of my floor and I had Barbie world just everywhere around me. I remember playing Barbies all the way up through Definitely sixth grade. I think I stopped by the time I hit seventh. But even now to this day, if I see something really little, I'll think, that'd make a good Barbie so-and-so. I still have that mentality in my head. Okay. This is the body of the truck. And there's going to be one little... One little tiny snowball. I don't even know why this is here. By the time all the seams are sewn, you're going to see probably this much of this white piece. But trust the process. I'll do it. still have a bunch of my Barbies in storage, actually. Um, in one of those old-fashioned Barbie ca soup cases. Do you know what I mean? They had the Barbie 80s, 70s figure Barbies on the outside of it. and I remember seeing it when I was putting some other stuff in storage. I need to pull them out. But I still remember my Barbies. I had the peaches and cream. I had a Malibu Barbie. One of my Barbies, one of my mom's dogs got a hold of when I was a kid and chewed up its arm and I was devastated. I made her a cast out of scotch tape. And I remember that Barbie's in storage with that taped up arm still, like she has a broke arm. Good memories. Not... Barbie's arm getting chewed, but playing with Barbies.
this. Oh, we can put this on the bottom of this now. We're almost at the finish line, y'all. If my gamer gets on y'all's nerves, you can always just mute me. I won't be offended. Just don't tell me about it, because then that might hurt my feelings. <laughs> Yeah, half of that little snowball just got snowed under. There's the bottom. I just um, sew the grass onto it. And again, I'm using a different green than she used because I wanted to. Because that's my business. pick this one because yeah, it looks like little flowers growing on the grass and I liked that and now it's my opportunity to make this a straight line at the bottom instead of a wonky jagged edge like a jagged little pill these two pieces and our block is done another one bites the dust another one bites the dust and another one down and another one down another one bites the dust hey gonna get you too this is those grunge pieces it's so hard to tell with the right side on them the white ones, anyway. I think this turned out really cute. I'm going to have to flip it this way because look what's happening. I need to watch that and make it level. I need to watch it. Look, that's Lori fabric. Sweetwater grays. I don't remember this. What these this little paisley prints from? It really is worth it just to take a couple seconds to do a scrappy quilt on the side. Just 
just a couple extra seconds of time and you'll have a whole other quilt. Iron this and we'll take a gander. Now remember all these blocks get sashed so these crooked edges I can always clean up then. That turned out stinking cute. So cute, right? I love it. I actually love that. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me. Thank y'all so much if you are watching. I I so appreciate y'all more, more than I can say. I love this channel and I love y'all. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see y'all at the next one.